You may have already noticed birds heading south for the winter. It's a long journey that biologists in Maine are keeping an eye on. Especially when it comes to one particular bird. New Center Maine Samantha York introduces us to Harper the Heron. And we had to go down there and it, down to the pond and it was still pitch black out. Last spring, Mia Nadu was part of something pretty special. The capturing and tagging of this beauty, a great blue heron named Harper. I was really happy because we'd been trying this for like a really long time and we weren't sure if we were going to actually catch a heron. Um, so when we finally did, it was really exciting. Herons are just one species of bird Maine biologists are keeping track of. I'm Danielle Dior. I'm a wildlife biologist with the Maine Department of Inland Fish and Wildlife. We have been trying to understand our population of great blue herons for quite some time now. She says over the years, researchers have seen a 90% decline in heron pairs nesting on Maine's coastal islands. So they decided to see if the trend was statewide by capturing and tagging birds with GPS trackers. So the tracking project is just another way of trying to like piece some clues together. So far, Harper has taught them she's not actually from the Harpswell area. Come to find out, she's Canadian. Her tracker captures her migration patterns. Last fall, she flew an impressive 38 hours straight, taking off from St. John, New Brunswick and landing in St. John, Florida. This year, Harper flew 68 hours straight, totaling 2,080 miles. She impressed us even more. She did a wider path, which meant a longer route, uh, which meant she was over the ocean for a lot longer. Diaria says this type of research isn't just crucial to Maine's ecosystems and the creatures that inhabit them, but also it's to make sure that species like the blue heron will be around when Mia grows up. The more we can do that, the more they'll understand how important these birds are in the environments that they depend on. Samantha York, New Center, Maine.